Richard Barrett for Guitarist Magazine here, and I'm here to show you two of the new solid body electrics from Atkin Guitars. I'm holding the Boosh, and just behind me there is the Mind Horn. So I'll talk you through the Boosh first. I think you can see the lineage, the Telecaster type idea that this is built on. There is a bit more to it than that, though, as we shall see. So starting with the construction, we have a roasted quarter sawn flame maple neck with an Indian rosewood fretboard. The fretboard radius is 10 inches and we have high narrow vintage style frets. Not tiny like you get on some of the vintage fenders but they are leaning more towards the vintage type wire than any of the modern jumbo stuff. At the top here we have lightly aged goater vintage type tuners a neck to body join which has been sculpted away to allow better access up at the high end. 22nd fret there I should also point out. Master volume and tone and these two pickups so it would be easy for me to say a P90 style in the neck and a Telecaster style in the bridge but there is actually a bit more to it than that. These pickups have been specifically designed and wound in Atkins workshops for this guitar. Now You'll probably want to look at Guitarist 499 to get the absolute details because I could be here all day. But for instance, this has been wound slightly brighter to match with the Tele type bridge, which doesn't have a base plate, which helps with microphonics. So that's the kind of detail I'm talking about that you'll see in the magazine. Master volume and tone, and you'll see that this Tele style control plate has actually been flipped round, which is a popular mod for a lot of tellies so you can get to the volume control really easily. There is a drop sided telly style bridge here. The drop sides are really good for not scuffing your hand on the edge and getting blisters and so on when you're playing the guitar for a long time. They have Gota's in tune saddles. It's quite subtly done but you can see when you look closely that these saddles have actually been optimized to get better intonation than the standard straight up telly saddles. It's through body stringing too. Maybe we should listen to some sounds. I'll start off with the neck pickup here. Bring the volume up. I'm plugged into the studio's Vox AC15, which gives a warm, clean sound. There's a hint of break up on there. So that has quite a rich voice to it. If I go to the middle position with both on, that starts to become a bit more familiar. Then on one more click, As I said earlier, these pickups were carefully designed to be a good match in this guitar because a P90 is actually a very different beast to a single coil. You can really feel this whole thing vibrating sympathetically when you hit a chord. I've swapped over to the Mind Horn which has some similar appointments, but as you'll see, it's a different design. So let's talk about the neck, the same Gota tuners, and the same neck profile. I don't think I mentioned that about the other guitar. These have got a slim C neck, so there's a nice roundness to it, but they're not super deep. So they're not a chunky neck, but you can feel it in your hand. It's a nice handful. Um, block inlays this time, Indian rosewood fretboard, uh, narrow tall frets, 22 of those, and a 10 inch radius of course. So moving down to the body we have a bolt on of course uh, with the same joint. Like the Boosh this body is a solid piece of a beachy and again like the Boosh through body stringing which I'll show you while I have this flipped over. Okay slightly different bridge arrangement though it's still a telly style it's just cut down and it's got nice smooth edges there the in tune saddles again these two pickups are based around the p90 idea again they've got a richer warmer sound and we have a couple of extra switching tricks which i'll show you when we're listening to some sounds starting with the neck pickup <laughs> Okay, 
Let's go for both. <laughs> So with both on, you've got more of that jangly telly type thing, but there is more meat to the sound. And let's go for bridge. I wouldn't say that this was a whole lot more powerful than the other guitar, but it has a rounder sound. Now, Sting in the Tail is on the master tone control. You can pull that up and it puts these two pickups together in series which gives a super powered humbucking, like a wide humbucker. Also, with this activated, it ignores wherever you have the pickup selector and will take you shortcut straight to that sound. See, it's not having an effect. So these guitars are both modern designs, but they feel very classic, very vintage, beautifully worn in. Straight out of the case, they stay in tune, they play great. They're not heavy, so if you like a lighter guitar, these could be for you. They're about six and a half pounds each. The Mindhorn, which I'm holding here, comes in a shade under three and a half grand with a hard case. And the Bouche comes in at just under 3,200, again, in a hard case. Now, I've shown you some cleanish sounds. I've also made a piece which shows how the guitars overdrive in a more blues rock context. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 